Hi, Timothy Carlson here, and we're doing another movie review, finally. Did you ever think I was going to do another one? Today, we're taking a look at Halloween Kills, the latest installment in the long-running horror franchise featuring serial killer Michael Myers, who remains one of horror's true icons, pretty much the boogeyman brought to life. I've done some YouTube videos for the Screen Factory reissues of the older movies. I'll post links to those above if you want to go check those out as well. So let's talk about this latest installment. I'm going to unbox the release, talk about the plot, my opinion of the movie, and some of the other features on here. Here's a look at the front cover. Got that grisly, burned Michael Myers mask. Just looks very sinister and evil, just the way that he should be seen. Slip cover, of course, comes off. There's the back of the slip cover. Underneath, you pretty much have the same deal. In here we have our digital code. Don't bother trying this because it's already been used. And then there's this you know, studio VIP thing on the back. And we have our 4K disc as well as the included Blu-ray disc. Now just to clarify, currently in the Halloween franchise, they've done a lot of retconning. The only films that are now considered canon are the original 1978 film, the 2018 film, which is simply and confusingly simply entitled also Halloween, this film, Halloween Kills, and then the follow-up to this film that'll be out this October, which is entitled Halloween Ends. So you have the original film and then this trilogy of newer films that supposedly will finish things off. Inevitably, there will be more Halloween movies one way or another, whether they reboot the franchise altogether or something. Anything's possible. Anyway, Halloween Kills picks up right where the previous film left off. Michael Myers, of course, returned to Haddonfield and began laying waste to the townspeople. Quite the body count. Here he escapes from his presumed fate in the previous movie, picking up his massacre with a lot of familiar faces from the franchise returning here. And it's not long before... The townspeople rallied together as a posse with the cry of evil dies tonight, looking to put an end to Michael Myers and his seemingly endless killing spree. Minor spoiler alert, evil does not die on this night. The fact that there's another film coming to finish off this trilogy pretty much tells you what you need to know there. Now, it was nice to get the 2018 film because it was sort of a return to basics for the franchise, but it also introduced a new generation of characters while... Well, sticking with a handful of old ones. So great to have Jamie Lee Curtis reprising her role as Laurie Strode, arguably the most famous and remembered of her long and illustrious career. This time around, we get a few other returning classic characters, including Tommy Doyle, the kid that she babysat in the original movie, this time around played by veteran actor Anthony Michael Hall, and even Charles Cyphers returns from the original two films, reprising his role as former Sheriff Lee Brackett. This time around, he's become a security guard in the Haddonfield Memorial Hospital. Of course, Michael Myers is out doing what he does best, but it's interesting to see how the townspeople get riled up going up against him and how their fears and paranoia are almost more dangerous than Myers himself. Now, I won't lie. I did like this film. It's extremely violent. I think it brings what fans are going to want but if you're looking for something revolutionary that's going to turn the series on its head, you're not going to find that here. Another mistake the movie makes is that Laurie Strode is pretty much sidelined in the hospital for most of the movie and never really gets anything to do. Although we are optimistic she'll be back on her feet again figuratively and literally for Halloween ends when that comes along. That said, I think the cast here does a very good job. It's an extremely violent film that delivers in that category. If you're expecting a movie that's going to reinvent the wheel and how you feel about this franchise, Halloween Kills is certainly not that movie. But if you want a gory good time and a pretty solid continuation to the previous film that rebooted this franchise, I think it fits the bill nicely. Now this release of the movie includes the original version that aired in theaters as well as an extended version that has a slightly longer ending. This ending doesn't really change too much about the movie, but it does give us more optimism that Lori is going to be a more active character in the future installment that's going to close out this trilogy. Needless to say, the 4K disc here looks absolutely beautiful. A Halloween movie is primarily going to take place at night and in dark places, 
and there's plenty of shadow detail, nice deep dark black levels, and it takes advantage of all the enhancements that you're going to get when it comes to a 4K presentation. The included Blu-ray, of course, looks pretty solid as well. The screen caps you're seeing in this video are taken from the Blu-ray disc, as unfortunately I don't have software that can do captures from 4K disc. There are a handful of bonus features here, including some deleted scenes, as well as some of the typical EPK type stuff. And there's also even a commentary track that features some of the stars as well as the crew. Are you a Halloween fan? And how did you feel about Halloween Kills? Are you looking forward to Halloween Ends? What's your favorite film in the franchise? Comment down below and let me know what you think. Also, remember to subscribe to this channel for more context. I'm always posting new videos. And make sure you give this one a like if you find it helpful. I'm Taylor T. Carlson. See you next time.